Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe. I am Jancita and welcome to the family. Today we are doing a video on my hair, my head. It's time to take off these box braids. I've had them in for like a month and a half, which is it's a decent amount for me. Usually I don't keep them in longer than that, but I think it's time to take them off. And it's a love and hate relationship because I honestly don't want to take them off. The, it's so cute. Like I love, I love these braids. They, they're, they served their purpose. Love them so much. The color, everything about them. Ugh, these, ugh, I need to get them done again sooner or later. Hello? So yeah, it's definitely time to take these out and I figured I would um, record me taking out my box braids and show you the growth that I've had in a month and a half. See if if it's a lot or not. I think it is. I mean, you can kind of tell just by my roots. My roots need to be done again. Of course, I will also be doing a root touch up. So I'm gonna be bleaching my roots and I'm gonna show you how I do that and how I also color my hair. My hair is purple. If you guys don't remember, I'll insert a picture somewhere around here and also I have an appointment for a haircut which is long over <laughs> been it's been a minute like this whole quarantine I haven't gotten a haircut and girl I need one so yeah I'm gonna be showing you how that looks after I get my haircut I'm really excited to see the new growth to see how long my hair is we're all just really excited to actually take these off as much as I don't want to take them off I, I, I miss my hair I miss my natural hair and also because it's just getting really messy I mean it could be worse but to me it, it's just I need I need it out of my head needs to go and I'm gonna fast forward it so you guys don't get bored and I might skip it to when I have everything out of my hair and then I'll show you how I bleach my roots Okay guys, so this is what my hair looks like with the braids out and ah, I'm looking a little crazy. Let me show you what I have for breakage. So this is what I have for breakage. It's not that bad. I'm not surprised. It's nothing new to me. I know my hair tends to shed a lot, so that that's fine. Let me show you all my fake hair. So all of this is finally done and over with. I am so happy. I am back to my natural hair. It definitely grew. The bottom of my hair right here has always been shorter. Everything's just all over the place right now. Like I said, I definitely need to redo my roots. So we're gonna do that next and I'll show you how I do that. It's pretty simple, nothing crazy. So I got my bleach our developer i might use the 20 developer i'm not sure we'll see i also am gonna put some coconut oil on top of my hair I haven't washed it in a couple days i want to say three days so i do have oil in my hair and it's a little bit dirty which is good because you want to bleach your hair when your hair has a you know a little bit of oils in it you don't want to do this on a clean scalp because it will hurt it will burn your scalp applying coconut oil will hopefully slow the process a little bit down and I just feel more protected when I have it on. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some coconut oil as well on top of my hair just for that extra protection. But in reality, I feel like it really doesn't make a difference if you don't use it. Just make sure your hair is a little dirty before you, you bleach it, okay? I'm gonna try my best to do this in front of the camera. I'm not gonna be in the bathroom, so it's gonna be really hard to get those blind spots bleached. So bear with me, people. <laughs> Don't roast me. And I hope Brad Mondo doesn't roast me because I don't know what's gonna happen, so. I already got my raggedy shirt on from Six Flags. Don't use a nice shirt, make sure you use an old shirt.
Okay guys, so I'm back. I ended up waiting till the next day to film this part because I then, how do I put this? So remember how I showed you the amount of hair uh, that I lost after taking off my braids? So I ended up losing a bit more than I anticipated because I had to brush out my hair. And you know, with curly natural hair, you're not supposed to brush your hair, especially when it's dry. I did that because when I took off my braids, I had a lot of buildup on my roots. So it was hard for me to get that bleach in there. So I had to brush it out. <sighs> Man, did I lose a lot of hair. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, so, and disregard my face looking all rough right now. Like I said, the next day, there's no point in me beating my face to the gods if I'm gonna hop in the shower and wash off the color. So let me just show you what I lost. <sighs> so I lost this. <laughs> this is how much hair I lost. It's a lot of hair. This is a lot of hair. And this does not include the amount of hair that I also lost in the shower. Girl, it, it was a lot, it was a lot. I was freaking out at one point. I'm like, I'm gonna be bald by the end of this. So this stuff is really good to repair damaged hair. And so I figured put that on and hopefully repair my hair because girl, there's a lot of breakage. That's what happens when you bleach your hair and you mess with bleach, which I don't regret. I, I knew what I was getting myself into. And Brad Mondo is probably cringing right now real hard. If you ever come, <laughs> come across my video, please don't roast me. Anyways, I used Apogee and I just washed that out right now. This is what we got. This is what we're working with right now. <laughs> I look crazy, I know, I look crazy. But it's okay, I got it to the color that I wanted. Obviously, like the roots are much easier to bleach, but I think it's a good color. It's a good It's a good color to start with. It's definitely a different shade right here, because this is obviously my virgin hair. This was already processed hair from last time, so I gotta be careful next time I bleach it. Um, And yeah, I think it did a great job at lifting my color all around. I think we're ready to color my hair. Okay, so I'm doing purple, if you couldn't tell. We're gonna be using the Purple Rain once again because this is literally my color. I love this color so much. And I'm actually gonna use this straight from the bottle. I mean, it's pretty easy to use. So, um, more hair falling out. Oh my god. <gasps> Alright, so we're gonna get into this. I actually have a little bit left over from my last bottle, so I'm gonna use that first. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm gonna let this sit for 30 minutes and then I'm gonna come back with it hopefully already set. Let's see how this color turns out, guys.
all right all right so this is what my hair looks like it does look a little bit shorter on the back but i do have shrinkage my hair does shrink and she did cut a couple inches off which i'm not mad or anything i knew i had a lot of like damaged hair so i told her to just you know cut off whatever she felt was necessary but overall i love my hair i think the color is perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. I couldn't be any more happier with the results. So let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Love you guys. Bye.